Hi, welcome to the Brush and Balcon. Today it's just going to be a quick tutorial on how to paint three of the battlefield assets from Adeptus Titanicus. Okay, so this is one of the base units for the Adeptus Titanicus, like emplacements. Um, on these base units, you can get the gun turret. You've got like a little radio bunker thing, radar, some other bits and pieces to stick on top there. Now these have been undercoated with storm vermin fur. It's been undercoated with Mechanicus Standard Grey and these have been undercoated with Lead Belcher. This is just black at the moment. So what we're going to do first is we're going to use Citadel Null Oil on all of these parts just to give them a shade in all the recesses. I'm going to be using a really old brush to do this because when you're shading something like this you don't really need to have it too perfect because you're going to be going over it anyway just leaving the recesses with the shading. I'm just going to do the same with all these parts with the metallics as well because this is only background scenery, it doesn't need to be too detailed either. When we come back we'll have all the null oil finished. So now we're going to paint up the base layer colour of this and it's going to be Citadel Mechanicus Standard Grey, which I use on pretty much all of my Warhammer buildings, so they do look a bit monotone, but it is a nice grey for the buildings. So I'm just going to build up a layer of this, leaving the null oil in the recesses. Moved on to using a small layer brush to do this as well. That was a slightly old one, so the point's not very good on it, but I'm just using it to do this layer because it doesn't need to have any particularly fine points or any detail work doing on it. Okay, so we're going to carry on with this, and when we come back we'll have all the Mechanicus Grey done. So we've got all the Mechanicus Standard Grey done there. Now we're just going to add a little bit of white to the Mechanicus Standard Grey to lighten that up. And then we're going to be using that to do highlights along the top edges of all the grey. I'm actually going to change brushes and use one of the Citadel small layer brushes. One that's got a decent point on it. I'm just going to continue this all the way round, and once we've finished that we'll be back for the next layer. Now you can see the highlight around the top of that, and around the top of the, the ridges, around the base here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to use a bit of Vallejo London Grey, which is a lighter coloured grey. And that's just going to be to highlight all the edges around the top, and around the edges of these bottom pieces here as well. Just going to repeat this all the way around the base and then we'll come back once all the London Grey is finished. The final thing that we're going to do to this base is use a little bit of Citadel Agrax Air Shade. I'm just going to use that to add a bit of, bit of grime and a bit of dirt build up on the sides. The idea with all this is just to build up a bit more shadow on the recesses so it stands out so that when you're looking at it from a distance you should be able to see all the little details kind of outlined and shaded.
So when we come back, we'll have all the Agraxa shade finished and we'll start working on some of the top pieces. So the first one of the objectives that we're going to be painting is the Command Bastion. We're going to start off in the same way as we did the actual base for it. Um, we're going to be using Citadel Mechanicus Standard Grey just to reapply the base colour for it. Now, because there's quite a few little intricate details, I'm using a small layer brush because it's got a decent point so you should be able to get between all the details. When we come back we'll have all the Mechanicus Standard Grey finished. Again we've added a little bit of white to the Mechanicus Standard Grey and we're just going to do the first layer of highlights. When we come back we'll have all the first layer of highlights done. Now the next colour that we're going to use is Vallejo London Grey. It's just to do the final highlight on this part. Now I tend to use the flat of the brush, like the side of it, rather than using the point to do the highlighting like this, just because you can, if you do it gently, you can get a really fine line, whereas I find if I try and do it with the point, I'll get smudges and little, little blobs of paint on it. I'm changing from the small layer brush to a slightly worn down small layer brush, just because it has the flatter edge on it. When we come back we'll have all these edges highlighted. Now we're just going to use a little bit of Citadel Lead Belcher, that's just to put some of the silver back onto the antenna. Like so. Now the final colour we're going to use is a little bit of a Grax Earth shade. We're going to be using that just to put a little bit of shading and weathering onto the Bastion. Now if you watch any of my other videos, you'll probably notice that I do use a lot of shades for a lot of different things. But I just find them really, really good and really handy for putting in a little bit of weathering or a little bit of grime and that kind of thing to your miniatures without any real effort. It's a very, very easy technique to do. When we come back, we'll have all the Grax Air Shades finished. Okay, well, the first thing we're going to do with this is paint all the grey airs with Mechanicus Standard Grey. We come back, we'll have all the Mechanicus Standard Grey finished. Now we're just going to be using the first mix of Mechanicus Standard Grey with a little bit of white. I'm going to be using that just to do one quick highlight to it. Like so. Next we'll be using a little bit of Vallejo London Grey again. We're just going to do a few little edge highlights on it. Like so. Now we're just going to use a little bit of Citadel Lead Belcher, just to paint up the coils on it. Now 
like so. Final thing left to do with this is going to use a little bit of a Grax Air shade again. Just going to give it a little bit of discoloration and weathering. With that, the plasma generator done. I'm just going to start on the void shield relay, and the first colour we're going to be using is Citadel Lead Belcher. All we're going to do for that is do a gentle wet brushing of the lead belcher over the shaded void relay, like so. You can see that brings the shine right out on it. I'm just going to do this all the way round. What I tend to do when I'm doing this is to get a bit of paint on the brush, wipe the excess off on a bit of paper and then you can just drag it outwards from the circle and that should leave you with shade in all the right places. When we come back we'll have all the lead belts are finished. Keeping the paint scheme simple we're now just going to use Citadel Agrax Earth Shade to shade the void relay. We're going to be working this into all the joints like we did with the, the base and the previous part and that's just to give it that little bit of built-in grime that looks quite nice on these parts. like so. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.